I'd like to welcome everybody in person, as well as on Zoom, to the 5,574th meeting of the Rotary Club of Chicago. How's everybody feeling out there? Good to be back in person around other humans. Very good, right? Excellent, excellent. And for the folks on Zoom, uh, we'll hope to be uh, seeing you in person sometime soon as well. Uh, to start off our program today, uh, I would like to invite up to the stage um, RI Director and past District Governor of District 6450, Ms. Nikki Scott. It's my pleasure to be with all of you again, albeit not in person, um, but via Zoom. And it's my pleasure to have the opportunity to do the invocation for this very special occasion for Marga's induction. So I thought it would be uh, helpful for us all in this turbulent time um, with so much that we've been through to go back to some older wisdom of Desiderata. So that's what I would like to share. Go placidly amid the noise and the haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant, they too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery, but let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not feign affection, neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is a perennial, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars, you have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God in whatever way or form you accept that notion, whatever you conceive him or her or it to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful and strive to be happy. Max Ehrman. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nikki. That was fantastic. And thanks for starting us off. Um, and now uh, to the in-person stage, uh, we'll, we'll get this figured out uh, uh, eventually, but to the in-person stage, I would like to welcome up for the Pledge of Allegiance, Marga's nephew, Santino Stamati. Santino, welcome up. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have uh, many great speakers to join our installation today, both in person and over Zoom. We have incoming president of Rotary International, Shekhar Mehta. 
We have incoming district governors for 6450, Jane Hopkins, uh, who's also being inducted tonight. So please do come out to Joliet later today to join that induction. Uh, we have, uh, of course, our incoming Rotary One president, Marga Hugo. We have chair of the Rotary One Foundation, uh, uh, past chair of the Rotary One Foundation, Michael Ferris. Uh, we have our out district, outgoing district governor for 6450, Chuck Corrigan. Uh, of course, we have a uh, uh, spouse of our incoming president and general secretary and chief executive officer of Rotary International, John Hugo. Uh, we have uh, past RI president, K.R. Ravi Ravindran. And we have uh, RI president nominee, Jennifer Jones, all uh, speaking with us this afternoon. So it's a fantastic program. And we have many other VIPs who are in attendance with us, again, in person or via Zoom. And I'm going to apologize uh, at the very top here in case we have missed anybody, uh, because uh, as you can imagine, uh, there's, there's always a lot of people sort of signing in. But I'd like to welcome Gary Huang, RI past president from Taiwan. Sakuji Tanaka, past RI president from Japan. Uh, Pat Merriweather, uh, RI director, USA, here right at the president's table. Uh, Chi Tian Liu, surgeon, uh, RI director from Taiwan. John Blount, past RI director, and Patty from the US. Jeffrey Ketteret, past RI director from the US. Brad Howard, past RI director, and Marsha from the US. Rob Kniffer, past RI director from the US. Ed Fuda, past RI general secretary, US. And Greg Pod, past RI director and Pam from the US. So thank you to our VIPs. And uh, again, I think you're all VIPs. And I really am very, very pleased that you've all come here to, to share this special day with uh, Marga and myself. So you've heard me talk all year, mostly from the other side of a laptop. So I will be relatively brief in my remarks today. And besides, as Rotarians, I think we speak better through our actions anyway. And uh, as I was saying, ostensibly today's program is to celebrate the outgoing and incoming presidents, myself and, and Marga. You know, we, we talk a bit, we exchange regalia like 19th century European princes who fancy themselves military heroes. Uh, but really today, we celebrate all of you, the members of the Rotary Club of Chicago and other Rotarians, friends, and supporters of our club. My fellow Rotarians, I love how creative you are. I love how dedicated you are, passionate, supportive. It was a tough year, but you stood by me. You stood by each other. You stood by Rotary which means you stood by your local and global communities. I watched all of you make the world better. You helped build a strategic plan and then embraced it. The strategic plan transcends a single president or board. We will continue working towards the goals in this plan for the next four years to plan and prioritize, implement together, and report on our success so that ultimately we grow membership and impact our community. Moving the needle, as Marga always reminds us in her annual campaign updates. Our service committees developed their own mini plans to align with the club's strategic plan to better focus their mission and then implemented those plans. Central in this, we're developing our own homegrown hands on projects, not just passively waiting for organizations to come to us and taking out the checkbook. Though it is important to step up when such urgent needs come our way. But instead, we proactively sought out partners, projects, and ideas that fit the priorities of our club and our members. You have delivered. And how did you deliver? Well, where, where do I start? Should I start with the thousands of meals that our club members deliver to first responders and homebound seniors from the first days of the pandemic? Or should I start with our work with the first five Rotary Clubs in the world to package and deliver over 10,000 
hygiene kits to our five cities, with ultimately nearly 3,000 kits finding their way to folks in need in Chicago. How did you deliver? How about developing a comprehensive suite of vocational support tools to help not only our Rotarians, but Rotarians across the two districts in Northeast Illinois affected by the pandemic? Or how about successfully completing last year's Job One program in the middle of a pandemic by leveraging virtual jobs and successfully starting this year's Job One program with the highest number of high school student applicants in the history of the program? Maybe it's the seven or so global grants being implemented or in the works across the globe with a focus for impact in Bolivia. I could cite the fun activities like the river kayak trash cleanup or the shamrock shuffle. How did you deliver? Maybe it was the first ever CPS opportunity grants, which sure got the attention of Chicago public schools with two dozen applications and ultimately 10 grants of up to $5,000 each awarded across the city. And now students on the South and West sides will have necessary STEM equipment or needed textbooks or equipment to train them for a career in healthcare or a bus ride each day so they don't miss school. You delivered. And let's not forget our world-class weekly speakers that our programs committee consistently delivers, which add immense value for our members and bring in guests as well as create new members. And while I lament the fact that I wasn't able to shake the hand of Mayor Lightfoot or Senator Duckworth in person, I also recognize that without Zoom, we may not have had Joe Montaigne or General Petraeus. So as we begin the new Rotary year, don't stop delivering. Your club has incredible leadership, your board, committee chairs, and succession of presidents. And I see before me, the future faces of leadership of this club and of Rotary more broadly, though said faces may not realize it quite yet. Rotary One is on very solid ground. I encourage all of you to work with your leadership and support them to continue to implement the strategic plan. As we trepidatiously emerge from our pandemic cocoons, ourselves renewed in spirit and purpose, we must reconnect with our fellow humans. We must rebuild our community. We have many exciting service opportunities in July to do just that. And if you haven't been able to volunteer over the last year, I encourage you to join me at one of those events. And the show-stopping programs continue too with former Chicago Bear Desmond Clark and celebrity chef and polio survivor Ina Pinckney, to name a few. If you haven't invited a guest to one of our meetings over the last year, I encourage you to do that in person or over Zoom. Couldn't be easier. Are you part of other professional or service organizations in Chicago or know of other uh, groups doing great work here? Attend one of their meetings and tell them about Rotary and invite them to a Rotary meeting or talk to club leadership and we'll send someone. Our strategic plan guides us to expand our friends and partners to all corners of this incredibly diverse city to improve our impact and diversify our membership as well. And in this way, we can continue to chip away at some of the seemingly intractable challenges in the city of Chicago. If there's any organization that has the power to succeed here, it's Rotary. The old presidential regalia has been uh, a little bit heavier this year, but it has nonetheless been an incredible experience. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your fellowship. And thank you for being a Rotarian. And with that, we will continue our show. And I would like to now pass the stage over to our incoming District Governor for 6450, Jane Hopkins. Jane. Thank you, Eric. Can you hear me or do I need? A little bit taller than I am. <clears throat> I have the extreme pleasure of introducing our Rotary International President-elect to all of you and 
with no further ado, I will move forward. Shekhar Mehta is the fourth Indian in 115 years to be nominated as the president of Rotary International for the year 2021-22. Shekhar Mehta was born in 1959 in Kolkata, India, a keen <clears throat> excuse me, a keen academician. He graduated from St. Xavier's College and has the unique combination of masters in commerce, a qualified chartered accountant, cost accountant, and company secretary. <clears throat> he heads the Skyline Group engaged in real estate development in different parts of India, including the largest group housing in the state of Rajasthan. He is a member of many professional, cultural, and charitable organizations, including Shelterbox and Operation Eyesight India. Sheikh Armita joined Rotary in 1998. He is a member of Rotary Calcutta Mahanagar. <clears throat> he served as district governor in 1999 to 2000 and was elevated to the board of directors of Rotary International for 2011-13. While serving as Rotary International Director, he helped Rotary add two countries, Bhutan and Maldives. Keenly dedicated to service, Shekhar has led many major service initiatives in India and South Asia. Shekhar is a motivational speaker. He has spoken at hundreds of events nationally and internationally. His motivation skills are par excellence, which has helped raise millions of dollars for the Rotary Foundation. Shekhar is recipient of the highest awards of Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation, Service Above Self Award, the Meritus Service Award, and the Distinguished Service Award. Shekhar Mehta is married to Rashi Mehta. She is a social worker, and is a stage artist having performed in socially relevant plays across India. They have a son, Chirag, married to Gita, a daughter, Gita, and a grandson, Veer. His guiding mantra in life is, service is the rent that we pay for the space we occupy on this earth. Welcome, Shekhar. Thank you. And now, may I request Marga to repeat after me the presidential oath. I. I. Marga Hugo. As president of the Rotary Club of Chicago. As president of the Rotary Club of Chicago. Will do to the best of my ability will do to the best of my ability. Administer the duties of the office. Administer the duties of the office. Of president. Of president. In a business-like manner. In a business-like manner. And in accordance. And in accordance. With the club's constitution. With the club's constitution and bylaws and bylaws and that i will support and that i will support the district governor the district governor and our president of rotary international and our president of rotary international ladies and gentlemen the 118th president of the rotary club of chicago marga hugh All right, okay. We weren't kidding about the regalia. Yeah. No. <laughs> Very serious about regalia at Rotary One. It is. 
<laughs> Madam President. <laughs> So now, uh, wait, I have to speak. This will be the first time of many, but not as long, I hope. So dear friends, thank you, all of you for being here today, both in person and in Zoom. And I would like to uh, thank again, President-elect uh, Shekhar and Presidents Ravi Ravindran and Gary Wang and Sakuchi Tanaka and our President nominee Jennifer Jones with Nick Krasich, past and current members of the Board of Directors of Rotary International, that there's a substantial number of you on screen. And my rock, my husband, my love, John Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> My dear brother Miguel and my dear nephew Santino, my dad and my sisters are on Zoom. And um, all of you, my friends from, there is a world outside Rotary, believe it or not, and they are here. So thank you all. And I would like to thank Eric and Marshall and Lisa and Khaled and all the past presidents of Rotary International, of, I'm sorry, for Rotary Club Chicago that brought the club to where it is today. Well, uh, some of you may have heard the story of how John found out about the job at Rotary International. Uh, his dad, Lou Hugo, uh, was an avid Rotarian for, I would say, almost 50 years, if not 50 years. And when the search was taking place, uh, he clipped the search ad uh, in the magazine and put it in a letter and sent it to John. And he wrote a little note that says, you know, John, I think you may have the qualifications for the job. Here we are. Uh, not knowing that they had gone through 400 resumes <laughs> and then uh, we made it to Evanston. But then what, if when in one of our family gatherings, uh, Tato, how we call him, he called me on a sign and he said, you know, Margotchka, he used to call me. He said, I wrote, remember that letter that I wrote to John? I said, yeah, of course, because it's framed in the office now. And, um, and he says, you know, I wrote it, but I had it sitting on my desk for several days because I knew that the job was going to be a good fit for John. But I wanted, before I send it, to feel in my heart that it was going to be good for you too. He's looking at us from heaven now. And I said, Tato, you were so right because, um, well, it is amazing what you and I have been able to do together, John, and I am so grateful uh, to Rotary for this enormous opportunity of serving you all and serving so many thousands of people we don't know, but they're all over the world. So, um, you know, eh, through John's position, a Rotary involved me, which I was not expecting, in trips all over the world to meet Rotarians. And I had never met so many people in so many countries that they were passionate about service. And when I saw the work that they were doing, I said, you know, I cannot sit passively and watching you do all these phenomenal projects and have so many important causes. So I wanted to be a part of it. And this is how I ended up here uh, in Rotary One. So being becoming a Rotarian and being a part of this extraordinary group of people is my way of saying thank you to Rotary International to everything it has given me without me even dreaming about it. So, you know, many of you know that I, uh, I love to do projects, okay? <laughs> And, uh, and I'm so grateful that James Morrison, James Robinson is here, one of my very first mentors when he used to work at Rotary International. You know, I would come to questions with questions to, to James office like, what are DDF funds? You know, somebody sent me an email. <laughs> now I know James, if you only knew. Uh, so, but you know, these projects allow me to do work always with a team that I never thought I would be involved in. It is 
protecting women from cervical cancer in Senegal, providing medical equipment to hospitals in Bolivia, in Argentina, and in other countries in Eastern Europe, bringing clean waters and creating jobs and bringing um, and teaching job skills to people, to communities in Burkina Faso, in India, and in other countries. And last but not least, the profound experience of vaccinating children against polio in India. President Shekhar, your theme invites us to serve to change lives, and we certainly do and will do. But also, we will serve to save lives too. And I don't know if it can get better than that, but I thank God for this opportunity. But enough about me. Let's talk about Rotary One. First of all, a big, immense thank you to all of you who have contributed to the annual fund because we reached and surpassed our goals for this year for both foundations. I hope I didn't annoy you, but you know, I am planning to help Timo next year, okay? <laughs> So thank you, because you have seen in the list of projects that we do, how we can make those funds multiply in ways we cannot even imagine, thanks to the support of the Rotary Foundation that matches our funds. Well, what I'm wearing on my neck looks like a heavy weight. And as the first and oldest club in the world, there is a legacy of 117 presidents that came before me. And I thank you again for bringing the club where it is today. This weight is ours. And I'm here to share it and to serve with all of you to make even better what we have created together. I don't see this job as my ear, my presidency. I am receiving the torch that Eric has passed on to me and make it better so I can pass it on to you, Tima. And then Alita. Alita, where are you? <laughs> yes. So Alita is our president nominee and Timo is our president elect. So, eh, but the way I see this, this, what I received today is a jewel that in spite of the terrible months of the pandemic, and we have managed to meet on Zoom. We attracted 25 new members and performed a historic number of in-person service projects. I applaud the courage of our fellow members who went to deliver meals to first responders in hospitals at the peak of the pandemic, or to pack food for those who didn't have enough to eat, or to deliver iPads in a district-wide projects to um, nursing homes so the residents could be in touch with their families. And I think your initiative part turned into being a law for nursing homes in the state of Illinois that they have to have uh, you know, iPad so they can connect. So we have to thank Pat for her creativity. So, you know, we've met on Zoom for most of last year, but I have to say that I've gotten to know much better so many of my fellow members. I have developed friendships because we really had more time. We could hear each other better. We could talk more. And we did so much. I think this must have been the first time that in our International Services Committee, we had five global grants running at the same time. So we discovered a new way of working and it has been very productive. And I owe this personally to the brilliant strategic plan that Eric, you started. And also we hit the ground running this year because many clubs in the Rotary world were starting this year with a Rotary strategic plan. So, you know, we started already on a roll. So my hat off to you. So, but then, so what are we going to do now this year? You know, somebody told me, I'm going to say I want, but I said, maybe we should, you know, I don't want just to suggest because you know that I'm passionate about the things we can do uh, with Rory, but you know what? Allow me to say I want, because I want to share these things with you. I want to share what Rotary has given me. So I personally want you to have the best experience by being a member of this club. You can choose others too. Shekhar, Anarbor is an awesome club too, okay? <laughs> 
Uh, but I want you to really like it being here. I want you to feel you're making really good contacts and you're making good friends. I want you to share your talents and bring us your ideas. Who knows where they can take us? For example, they took us to Senegal, where we're you know, helping women not to, to avoid cervical cancer. Okay. I wanted to show you, I want to show you what else Rotary International can give you besides what you see here, our lunches, our speakers, and all the adventures you can have through RI or you know, meeting other club Rotarians in other parts of the world. We are going to bring new members to our club. We're going to do even more in-person service projects. We're going to surpass again our, fun, our fundraising goals for both the Rotary Foundation and Rotary International Foundation. For, I'm sorry, for the Rotary one, for, did I say it right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to make ourselves known beyond the confines of our Rotary world. And as my husband, John, says many times, Rotary has to be a thought leader in the communities it, it, it operates. And in Chicago, don't we have the perfect stage for that? Yeah. So I thank this wonderful city where we live. So... We are going to continue with the grants for the Chicago public schools. So more kids who want to go to school and study, they can feel we are behind them. We're going to provide more scholarships for the amazing program that, that Alita is leading in job ones. So kids can go to college and can continue going to college. And we're going to work closer with our Rotaractors because before we know it, they're also going to be able to do global grants and we are here to help them. We're going to do a fundraiser so we can also have other people outside our club to help us with the work we do in our communities. So stay tuned, bring your friends, be ready to enjoy yourselves. You know, it is work, but it is beautiful work. Like Sarah, what you have done is, is just extraordinary. So I, I thank you. And, um, and I said, well, in other words, what we're going to do, we're going to grow more, we're going to do more, and we're really going to have the best time at doing it together because serving, up, serving others, I think, is the best thing you can do in life. So thank you very much, and uh, let's get started. <laughs> the theme for next year. So, Shaker, President Elect Shaker, this is a wonderful theme. And I promise you, we're going to be, we already live by it. So I invite you to see what you can do also with this theme. <clears throat> now, Shekhar, uh, would you like to say some remarks? Before that, I have another job to do, Marga, and that is to administer the oath to the new Rotary One board members. Board members, will you please repeat the oath if you are here or if you are attending via Zoom? I, say your name. As a member of the board of Rotary Club of Chicago, will, <laughs> to the best of my ability, administer the duties as a board member in a business-like manner and in accordance with the club's constitution and bylaws. And that I will support the district governor and our president of Rotary International. I would very much like to thank the outgoing members of our board of directors uh, and uh, Katie Delahunt, who I think she's on Zoom, uh, Marilyn Lopez, 
who has left us, Marilyn, moved to Missouri and uh, lucky the club that will have her because she's a bundle of energy. And we miss you, Marilyn. So I, we wish you all the best. And Jody Stawicki, my dear Jody, I don't see you, but thank you so much for your time at the board. And, uh, and I would like to ask the incoming board to stand up so you all can be recognized. Shekhar, um, would you have some remarks you would like to share with us? Sure, Marga. First of all, congratulations to you. Wow, this is really wonderful. I, I compliment you for being the 118th president of Rotary One, the number one club in the world. And I sure can understand what weight there is on that collar there, the jewels that you're wearing there. <laughs> but I know you have strong shoulders, not just yours alone, but with so many of your club members already doing some amazing work. And I compliment the outgoing president, Eric. I heard all the great work that your club does. And I'm so impressed by it. I would have loved to be there in person. That's how it was planned. But this is how life is. I am in Calcutta, halfway around the world, but I can clearly be there with you in spirit. Compliments also to District Governor Jane Hopkins, who is also going to be inducted today. Coming back to Maga, Maga, I'm so happy that you are the president of this club for the coming year. In your club, I don't know anyone better than I know you. And it's great to see you. And I'll be seeing you so often, sometimes at the office, maybe with John, sometimes at our condo. <laughs> uh, if, if, if at all, we can make it to uh, Evanston, I hope. Uh, so it'll be a great time that we'll have uh, together, you as the president there, me as the president there also. Uh, it'll be wonderful. I'm impressed by the work that your club does. It's really wonderful. So happy to see that you inducted 25 new members during this year. The meals during the pandemics or the hygiene kits uh, during the pandemics that you've given or the job one program, uh, the number of global grants that your club does. I, that's really wonderful. That's how uh, truly a Rotary Club should be working. Uh, and who better to tell the world how to work than, the, uh, than Rotary One itself. And I was happy to hear from you about uh, grow more and do more. <laughs> uh, which other club can tell people how to grow more than Rotary Club of Chicago? Because we've all grown from there. So please keep growing uh, by getting more members. You have many members still. Each one can bring one. So each one bring one. Also, it's never too late in life to have, uh, to form one more club flexible clubs, virtual clubs, and Marga, I'm sure you will try to form one or two virtual clubs or hybrid clubs. It's great to see this hybrid meeting. This is what the future of Rotary is going to be. And even as we grow more, we will be able to do more. We may join Rotary for different purposes, but you know the real pleasure of Rotary is in living up to the motto of service above self. I see your passion, Marga, and when the leader leads from the front, the others also follow. I'm sure this year for your club is going to be an outstanding one where you will do more. Even as you do service projects, please have that overarching theme of empowering girls. And what better time than a girl leading the uh, club itself? So there is so much that we can do for empowering girls around the world. Uh, everywhere. There are different problems around the world. I'm sure you will find opportunities of helping girls in Africa and South Asia and different parts of the world and keep doing projects there. There is no greater joy, as you said, in life than really helping others. When you have helped yourself in life enough, it's absolutely a time to help others. And Rotary gives us this great opportunity of being able to help others whether you're doing sinking bore wells in African villages 
what pleasure it is for the children there when they see water coming out and the women not having to uh, go miles to fetch water or the men trying to uh, go and fetch water from deep places it changes lives it actually changes lives when you create health facilities people don't need to go miles for getting better health facility by serving you are actually changing lives i see people getting eye surgeries done at our eye hospital a 70 year old lady comes she cannot see her grandson because her her son cannot afford that surgery he lives in a far off village getting the getting the mother five times to the hospital getting her surgery done he cannot afford it the rotary club goes right up to her home does the eye check up gets the surgery done and for the first time she is able to see her grandson it's a life changing experience for her and for us also so each of these acts that of service that we do we change lives of people and very frankly we change our lives also so maga wishing you all the very best to you and to all your club members have a great year as you grow more and do more when you serve to change lives thank you thank you shekar very very much uh i accept the challenge on behalf of my club <laughs> Okay. Uh now Shekhar we would like uh to present to you with a copy of the Golden Strand. It's wrapped for you. You'll find it at the office when you come to Evanston, but this book tells the story, the very early story of the Rotary Club of Chicago, and I am sure it's going to entertain you. It's quite beautiful. Uh, also we have a candle that I hope you can see it. Um, okay, uh, that is being produced by an organization called Bright Endeavors, and which uh, supports young mothers and empowers them through learning job skills and through transitional jobs. So we are helping them uh, uh, to better their lives. So you also will see this gift from us and. last but not least uh it is our pleasure to have an engraved brick on the president's walkway at the Paul Harris Memorial in Mount Hope Cemetery honoring your upcoming year of leadership as our president you will see on your screen a photo of your stone and we hope that you will be able to visit uh rotary one soon with rashi so you can see the stone in person so shekar thank you immensely i know it's very late where you are and um uh, i give you my regards and hope to see you soon uh in this area thank you so much really thank you so much marga it's absolutely wonderful to be with all of you and wishing you all the very best as you serve to change lives Thank you. Thank you. I would like to invite now uh past our president and chairman of the Rotary Foundation Ravi Ravindran uh, who to give uh remarks. Uh Ravi is in uh, Sri Lanka. So thank you very much Ravi for staying up this late at night as well. The floor is yours. Alga I have never stayed up so late this whole year good to be here you know it's it's such a great uh, tradition that you have that each incoming president of rotary international starts off the new year here at rotary one by taking part in your changeover ceremony well i know the french director jean luc godard once said that a story should have a beginning a middle and an end but not necessarily in that order it's a great line not only because it's true but because it applies to so many situations in life mm-hmm. today we mark the beginning of a new rotary year we also mark the beginning of a new story we are doing it in the most appropriate place possible at the rotary club 
where the story of Rotary began in 1905, Paul Harris's home club. From the days of Paul Harris, we have had some wonderful, fantastic presidents and some great general secretaries, and I'm glad to see Ed Futa also here. And to pick one as better than the other may be difficult, whether it's the president or the general secretary. But there will be no debate that the best general secretary's wife, partner, whatever you may wish to call her over all these years in terms of rotary service, is Marga Hugo. <laughs> but, that, but that's, by the way, in her own right, and nothing to do being nothing to do with being the general secretary's wife. She is amazing. Members of Chicago, she understands Rotary. She is hands-on when it comes to international projects, and I suspect that she has been at the forefront of many of the recent Chicago One projects overseas, in Africa and elsewhere. Why? Even in my small country, even my small country is a beneficiary of the Chicago One's largest in our cer cervical cancer elimination project. And I'll tell you, it was such a great honor that some of you came and spent time with us. So Marga, Vanati, and I wish you great success. We know your club will continue to bloom and blossom this year. Thank you. Ravi. Thank you and Vanity for your support throughout these years because uh, you know you have helped us enormously uh, with our projects. Uh, and uh, also, I would like to tell you that Pedro and Pam are here as well. So they were so instrumental in supporting you on the important grant for uh, preventing uh, cervical cancer. Now, I don't know if you know, but Sri Lanka has a plan that is to eliminate cervical cancer from the entire country. OK, so that is the type of goals that we have in Rotary. And you are a force, Ravi, so thank you. I truly admire both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So now, um, now I get to invite my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so John, <laughs> come up. Here's the microphone. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Well, first of all, um, let me congratulate Marga for her installation as 118th president of the Rotary Club of Chicago. And it's a tremendous, um, I can't tell you how, how proud I am of, of you, Marga, for all that you've done. Um, Marga mentioned uh, the story of my father having, uh, he was a very active Rotarian in Michigan, very avid reader of the Rotarian magazine. And so one day he was reading it and he saw an advertisement for someone to be the uh, look, Rotary's looking for a new general secretary. So he tore it out of the magazine and wrote across the corner, John, you may want to check this out. Uh, you may have the qualifications for it. And at the time, I didn't know that he held that letter back for, for a couple of days to really see if, if this is also be a great opportunity for, for Marga. And I'm, I'm so glad that he, that he sent that letter, let that, sent that letter in. I think I learned two lessons. I think Marga and I learned two lessons from that is one is uh, always, always listen to your father. <laughs> And the second is really great things happen when you read the Rotarian magazine. <laughs> but that, that act of sending the letter really sent uh, Marga and me on a, an incredible journey that's been now 10 years in the making of, of really being able to visit and see Rotary in action throughout, throughout the world. And it, it really is an absolutely extraordinary, extraordinary uh, organization when you really get to, get to see it up close and personal on, on, a global, on a global scale. And so Marga, you know, thank you for accompanying me and being with me over the last decade on all these trips. And also for, to your credit, you seize the moment. You seize that opportunity to get to know Rotary, to make the connections, uh, to come back, join this club, and really put all of that to, to work, to, 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 to do the fantastic work that, that you've initiated and this club has, has initiated. So I'm very, very proud of you. Couldn't be prouder of you. And I wish you all the best. And if you've got any complaints about anything, <laughs> you know who to talk to. <laughs> you don't have to send an email and it gets caught in my email inbox for the for two weeks. Um, 
but I wish you all the best. Obviously, I'm here to support you on your effort. What a fantastic club. You've just made fantastic progress over the last years. You're picking up the mantle from some great presidents in 118 years of tradition. So all the best and congratulations again. Okay. Okay, now it is my pleasure to introduce to you our president, RI president nominee and first lady who will be president of Rotary International, Jennifer Jones from Canada. The floor is yours, Jennifer. Madam President, doesn't that sound nice? What a joy to be with you and all of my friends at uh, Chicago One today, a historic day, the 118th president of your club. Eric, congratulations on an outstanding year through turbulent times, watching all of the things that you've been able to accomplish over the past year, simply stunning. Marga, we knew that when John was hired, that we were going to have a great general secretary. We expected good things. We never could have expected the spark plug that you would become and the energy and the enthusiasm that I know you even add to his days in being able to look at Rotary's bright future. It's always been amazing to travel to different places, to conventions or other projects and to run into each other. But that's what Rotary does. It provides us with a global passport, one that you are getting stamped regularly. And I commend you for the incredible work that you're doing in so many different parts of our world. It is testament today that so many of your friends from every corner of the world are here on this call to celebrate with you. I know they don't all get a chance to speak, but I know we all feel the same passion and the same love for you and the same, um, just the same cel celebratory spirit, knowing that your club is in great hands in the year to come. So I am just so honored, and I know Nick feels the same way, to be your friend, to be here today, to celebrate with you. And this virtual format um, going forward, I think you've, you all might have just perfected it because it's a really nice way to be able to be here with you, um, but even be somewhat far away. We love you. Congratulations. And we're here to support you. Best of luck. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. You know, our club loves you and um, we hope that you come and visit us when you make it back to Evanston. And also we want to have Nick come and, and visit us as well. So uh, we already have an extra bicycle uh, and there is a golf course near our house. It's not that great, but, you know, we'll go biking with Nick. So, <laughs> OK, so uh, and now Eric. Eric. How do we start? I mean, should we all say stand up and applaud Eric? Yes. I'm going to cry too, okay? Because. <laughs> You know, the truth is when we come to this minute, you know, we are all by the minute have something to do. So there is a script and, you know, we are complete. We pack so much in each one. And I have to say that it was through Zoom that we really got to know each other and to laugh and to talk and doing great work at the same time. So there is no way we put, we're putting Zoom away in our club because I, I'm sure that many of you have experienced the same thing. And at the same time, in all these calls, we're doing really good things. So Eric, thank you. I mean, I so admire you. And you know, it's not fake because, you know, he's telling me, Marga, you're the one that we have to say the budget. And I said to the next board meeting and I said, okay, my gosh. <laughs> you know, we have some talents, right? Whether another talents we don't have. So that's why we have an awesome team here. So I, you know, we've, we've laughed. I've met Pilvin. I hope we can get together to celebrate the amazing Everything that you have done is so impeccable, so perfect. So I don't know how I'm going to do I have too much Italian blood. So, you know. <laughs> so
So, but, you know, thank you because your leadership was outstanding. You made everybody bring enthusiasm to the club and, and it's not a chance. It's not by chance that what happened in our club this last year happened. There was a truly spectacular leader behind us and around us. So Eric, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> So we have something for you. Um, <laughs> okay. So Mr. Immediate Past President, Harry <laughs> Temple, here, this is what I think you will have on your desk, like Pilbin told us. <laughs> <laughs> and then, can you bring me the bag that is next to John? Oh, thank you. So, you know, uh, this is, well, um, we could write so much on this beautiful, do you want to show it? Oh, sure. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, well, I don't want to break it. So maybe we can just show it like this. It says 2020, 21 president, Eric E. Kempel. We nominate you to be president of Rotary Club of Chicago. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Your vision, inspiration, and leadership to the club have been an inspiration to all. Thank you for your service. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, if you have withdrawal symptoms, you know, I think this may help you calm down. <laughs> but may, may I open this? Yes, of course. We'll be, you know... We'll be calling Eric. How do you do this? How do you do that? <laughs> Ooh, Woodford Reserve. I was hoping it was something strong. So thanks, Marga. <laughs> so, okay. Well, if Pilvin is on Zoom, or maybe she may be in an in an operating room now, but uh, <laughs> thank you for your generosity, for sharing your husband with all of us, Pilbin. You're <laughs> awesome and we hope we see you soon. <laughs> okay, you, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're running a few minutes late, okay? <laughs> so, well, now I would like to introduce the vice chair of the Rotary One Foundation, Michael, and a member of the Foundation Board of Trustees, Michael Harris. Thanks, Marga. Good afternoon. Um, con congratulations, my friend, Marga, on your installation. I remember how excited I was to be in your shoes and accepting that heavy chain of office eight years ago. We, uh, as club members, uh, all look forward to the great things we know you'll accomplish in your coming year. And Eric, I, I just have to say, I just have to mention the elephant in the room. Um, you shepherded our club through its most challenging year in living memory. Mm -hmm. um, as a past president myself, I can't even imagine dealing with the issues you had to face, but you not only dealt with them, but you showed us as a club how to crush them. And you left us a better club. You leave huge shoes for Margaret to fill, but you've also left a shining example of how it's done. Yeah. Uh, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, <laughs> uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with our club, our service mission is funded entirely through donations to our Rotary One Foundation. Each year, the trustees of the foundation acknowledge some of our significant donors with the Chess Perry Fellowship. In, in, interestingly, named after past Rotary Club of Chicago member Chesley R. Perry, who in August of 1910 was named the first general secretary of the National Association of Rotary Clubs, which we now know as Rotary International, as well as editor of the Rotarian magazine until 1928. So Chess Perry was, in essence, the John Hugo of his day. Uh, we can only hope that John's able to match Chess Perry's staying power since he served as general secretary for 32 years. Um, <laughs> all I can say is with Marga's help, if anyone can do it, John, you can. 
<laughs> so, so now we recognize Chess Perry Fellows um, as anyone who has made a cumulative donation of $1,000 to the Rotary One Foundation. The first slide uh, that I'm going to show you shows the 15 new additions to the Chess Perry Fellowship who completed their cumulative $1,000 contribution just in the past year. Thank you to all of these people for your generosity. But our appreciation doesn't stop with the entry into the fellowship. We also recognize those who've donated additional amounts with a Chess Perry plus one designation for the next thousand, plus two for 2000 and so on. And the second slide shows everyone who in the past year made donations qualifying them to pass from one level of recognition to the next, or as in some cases, you'll see an increase of several levels. I don't know if Colette Akawi robbed a bank or what, but uh, thank you uh, to all of these people who uh, contributed so generously over the past year. And I do so um, on behalf of all the trustees of the Rotary One Foundation and all members of the Rotary Club of Chicago, whose work is supported by all of these donations. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Very, very much. And now I would like to welcome our still district governor, Chuck Corrigan, for the next few hours, <clears throat> who- <laughs> I'm not gonna talk for a few hours. <laughs> okay, so you have about uh, four more hours, I think. <laughs> I have all of tomorrow too, Margaret, but uh, thank you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Chuck, thank you so much for being on Zoom. And Chuck is going to uh, introduce or uh, recognize the, our Paul Harris Fellows. <clears throat> Chuck, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Margaret. Um, uh, first, uh, Eric, uh, uh, you've represented your club so well this past year, and not only your club, but our district and Rotary itself. And uh, it was a privilege for me to serve with you, and I, I echo everyone's thanks for your, your service past year. And, Margaret, we look forward to uh, your leadership of this historic club. <clears throat> and we know you're going to bring your own uh, energy and enthusiasm and, and help write a new chapter in its proud history. So looking forward to that. Um, as an annual event, this club uh, recognizes not only the, those who gave to uh, its own foundation, but to our Rotary Foundation, uh, the Rotary Foundation, that we are all are asked to support. Um, and you guys have, as Margaret said <clears throat> early on today, have met your goal and then some, and we appreciate that. Um, on the screen, you'll see the uh, members of the club who have reached uh, uh, new Paul Harris fellowships and those who have increased uh, to the next level. And we, we, we have the pleasure of recognizing those who have reached uh, those statuses that you see, and we thank you for your continued support. It's because of, because of gifts like yours that the Rotary Foundation is able to carry out an array of programs that achieve great changes to our world, improving living conditions, increasing food production, providing better education, uh, providing better treatment and rehabilitation for sick and disabled, providing new channels of international understanding and brighter hopes for peace, and our new area of focus, supporting our environment. We congratulate you and we thank you for commitment to the programs of the Rotary Foundation, and we encourage all Rotarians in this club and those on the screen to continue in your support of our Rotary Foundation in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Chuck, very much. Uh, well, we're not going to make announcements today, so I invite you to read the gyrator. There is plenty of it, and it's a great thing to read, so um, go ahead. Uh, and now uh, I would like to invite our president nominee, Alita Williams, to guide us on the four-way test for the things we think, say, or do at Rotary. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Marga. Mm -hmm. As my interns clapped very loudly because they would like to keep getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, is it the truth? Is it the truth? Number two, is, is it, it fair, fair to, to all, all concerned? Concern? Number three, 
Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Number four, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you. And now, the meeting is closed. <laughs>